Okay, I want to talk about my insulin mimetic and we're going to go ingredient by ingredient and I'm going to break down why it's in there, what its benefits are, because I think there's a lot of misinformation out there with people that don't really understand how powerful my insulin mimetic is and how it stacks up to other products that are similar. So starting off, I'm just going to go over the ingredient list. It has biotin per two capsules, which is a serving. It has 600 micrograms, chromium, 500 micrograms, saline cinnamon, 600 milligrams, bitter melon, 600 milligrams, alpha lipoic acid, 250 milligrams, vanadyl sulfate, 10 milligrams. Right off the bat, we're going to talk about biotin. Biotin has numerous benefits. It's vitamin B7. So there's a lot of stuff that, that, it, that it does and it's necessary for. But why I have it in here is for blood sugar management. You know, biotin is a supplement that can definitely help symptoms of diabetes, reduce, reducing blood sugar and total cholesterol, blood fats, also addressing neurological symptoms associated with diabetes. So there's a lot of good stuff going on there with the bloodstream and whatnot. Hair health, nail health, skin health, prenatal care, all of these things are amazing. That is very important for B7, biotin. So take biotin. It recommends at least 30 micrograms a day. Again, we have 600 in a serving. And with that, we've found no negative side effects having too much B vitamins. The next ingredient we have on the list is chromium. And it's chromium picolinate. We have 500 micrograms. First of all, chromium is a trace mineral. It's found in a lot of foods, supplements. It's been studied for benefits, potential with type 2 diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome, depression, weight loss. So there's a lot of things that it talks about there, but you notice type 2 diabetes, it's really good for insulin sensitivity. That, that is why we have it here. Uh, lipid profile and possibly managing symptoms with, you know, PCOS, as I mentioned before. It's funny because when you research chromium picolinate, on one hand, they say that it doesn't really affect blood sugar too much, but several studies I found, they'd say don't take it too close to surgery because it can lower blood sugar. One of the common side effects is chromium picolinate can cause hypoglycemia, which means when your blood sugar drops. If you have hyperglycemia, it's when your blood sugar is high. So it causes hypoglycemia, so it can be a severe side effect. So that is why we want it in this product, because we're trying to drop blood sugar. In this study, they go on to say chromium supplements may interact with medications like blood sugar-lowering drugs, such as insulin, metformin, levothyroxine, and potentially affecting their efficacy. Basically, they're saying like this is a product that will mess with your blood sugar and drop it even though it's a trace mineral and it's natural. It can be powerful. So there's several studies indicating that chromium supplements can improve blood sugar for those with diabetes. That's uh, PubMed. One study found 16 weeks, 200 micrograms a day of chromium was able to lower blood sugar and insulin while improving the body's response to insulin which is a key component why I like it. Then it goes on to say other research has shown that those with higher blood sugar and lower insulin sensitivity may respond better to chromium supplements. After that, additionally, there's a large study of over 16,000 adults and the likelihood of having diabetes was 27% lower in those who took dietary supplements containing chromium. Next ingredient we have is saline cinnamon. The health benefits of cinnamon are, are large, so I'm just gonna list some of them, but cinnamon is rich in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. It contains beta carotene, which promotes eye health. It's anti-inflammatory properties, reducing inflammation in the body. It helps lower cholesterol levels, particularly LDL cholesterol, and it also improves insulin response, aiding in managing blood sugar levels. Again, this is why we want it in there. To continue, saline cinnamon is a good source of manganese, vitamin A, vitamin K, potassium, zinc, magnesium, and cinnamaldehyde. One teaspoon serving contains minimal calories of protein, fats, carbs, nothing to really change up anything. There's not many calories in there. Okay, so the reason I chose saline cinnamon versus a different type of cinnamon like cassia, all cinnamon types contain coumarin, which can be troublesome in high amounts over a long period of time. So saline cinnamon is safer because it has very small amounts of that in there. But again, cinnamon is this awesome herb. You know, you, it's available in stick or ground form. You can put it in all different types of like drinks, lattes, coffees, cinnamon rolls, pumpkin pies, curries, all kinds of like ciders, meat rubs, 
you know, chocolate, you name it. It's, it is an amazing compound and nobody should be worried about having cinnamon in their diet. Actually, people that tend to have lots of cinnamon in their diet always show to have better health markers than people that don't. The next ingredient we have is 600 milligrams of bitter melon. Now, there's not much info on this, which is a little suspicious to me because they will say there's not a lot of info on it, but then they say it also contains a chemical that acts like insulin and it will reduce blood sugar levels. So they recommend not having this, you know, anywhere close to surgery for two weeks before you have surgery. So to me, it's almost like they know that this is a really great nutrient and it's full of a lot of benefits and it's just a little bizarre to me the way that it's kind of laid out. But one thing we do know is it's great for blood sugar control. It can help, you know, reduce blood sugar, long-term blood sugar, individual with diabetes, you name it. But at the same time, it's also, there's also a study out there where they believe that it can help the uptake of amino acids as well. So there was a study done, 40 people with diabetes taking 2,000 milligrams per day of bitter melon, and for four weeks it had a modest reduction in blood sugar levels. So it worked on its own by itself. The supplement significantly decreased levels of fructosamine, a short-term marker for long-term blood sugar control. So it did a real good job of that. But I can't help but list all these other properties and benefits that you're gonna get with bitter melon. So it's potential cancer fighting properties. Test tube studies indicate that bitter melon may possess compounds with cancer fighting properties, potentially inhibiting the growth and spread of various cancer cells, including those associated with stomach, colon, lung, nasopharynx, and breast cancer. Also great for cholesterol reduction, bitter melon extract may help decreased cholesterol levels, especially LDL, and can contribute to improved heart health. The next ingredient on the list is alpha lipoic acid, 250 milligrams. Now, again, the benefits are about blood sugar, but it's been proven to take sugar and turn it into energy using oxygen, it's aerobic metabolism. Acts as an antioxidant, neutralizing harmful free radicals, it may aid managing diabetes, lowering blood glucose, improving insulin resistance, could potentially help with weight loss, enhancing calorie burning, might alleviate neuropathic pain, particularly in individuals with conditions like diabetes. Shows promise at reducing markers of inflammation and potentially lowering the risk of heart disease. Suggest to have benefits of age-related memory loss and reducing signs of aging when applied topically. Now, with alpha lipoic acid, they're recommending 600 to 1200 milligrams a day. Typically, I take two doses and that puts me at 1200 milligrams. That's why there's 600 milligrams in there. They're saying that if you take too much of this for a long period of time, it can, it can cause issues, um, interactions with like uh, thyroid function, uh, chemotherapy, glucose lowering medications. These are all different interactions, but if you go too high with it, you know, basically it's a, it's very powerful. Alpha lipoic acid is very powerful and it's nat naturally occurring. So this one makes it really appealing, but at the same time, you know, there is a great range that we want to hit. So 600 to 1200 is the safest range. And that's where you want to stay with using this. What is alpha lipoic acid? Alpha lipoic acid is a caprylic acid derived antioxidant. The compound is synthesized in the mitochondria of the cell and it's a cofactor in the enzymatic nutrient breakdown. It's also available in you know, red meats, beets, carrots, potatoes, spinach, broccoli. Okay, finally we get to vanadyl sulfate. I left this last because this is a very distinguishing product that I have versus a lot of other products out there. They don't have this. And this is something that it needs to be talked about quite a bit. So here we go. Okay, first of all, vandal sulfate is vanadium. It's a transitional metal or a trace mineral that has, is very powerful and has a lot of different characteristics about it that we need to touch on. Right off the bat, I'd like to say there's studies that have proven the vanadyl sulfate treatment stimulates proliferation and regeneration of beta cells and pancreatic islets. What does that mean? Well, that is where your body releases insulin. And so this will make your body handle insulin, produce insulin, and use insulin more effectively. Let's see what they say about it. They say vanadium, a transition metal, has been studied for its potential therapeutic effects in diabetes due to its ability to mimic insulin and reduce blood glucose levels. The experimental setup, the study involved inducing diabetes in rats. The treatment significantly reduced blood glucose levels in diabetic rats, normalizing levels by day 30. So even if they were diabetic, it was fixed in 30 days. Insulin levels increased significantly with vanadyl sulfate treatment in a dose-dependent manner, almost normalizing with the higher dose. So there's a little bit of introduction to it, but let me just run down 
some of the bullet points here. Improves glycemic control, enhances insulin sensitivity, reduces endogenous glucose production, lipid lowering effects, weight maintenance, longer treatment durations, well tolerated, dose dependent responses, potential mechanisms for action, potential cardiovascular benefits. Those are just 10 things right off the top. And we dig a little deeper, this is what we see. So when we investigate the efficacy of the mechanism of action of vanadyl sulfate in type 2 diabetic patients, in six weeks of treatment, the patient with 150 you know milligrams per day significant improvements in glycemic control reduced uh, fructosamine and your hba1c's that's a marker to figure out long term if you're pre-diabetic or not basal endogenous glucose production decreased by about 20 percent modest increase in insulin mediated glucose disposal primarily representing muscle glucose uptake so one of the things about vanadyl sulfate is it is primarily good at muscle glucose uptake. All right. So that is the entire breakdown of all the different ingredients I have in my insulin mimetic. And I just wanted to explain why, because I think there's a lot of people that just don't understand, first of all, how many health benefits are involved with these ingredients. And number two, how powerful this product is and what its potential abilities are in the future moving forward. I've had years of experience with this as I researched many of these compounds years ago and figured out what was the right dosages so I could actually feel a difference. So, you know, according to my book, The Supernatural Lifestyle, you know, I like to, you know, spike my blood sugar post-workout after an intense performance training session and get that insulin spike with the glucose. And then I like to use my insulin medic to make sure that I absorb even more sugar than normal, making me a little bit more anabolic than I would without it. A little bit at a time goes a long way over years. So this is something I've been doing for a really long time. And as you can see, there's so many health benefits involved in taking these different compounds. I'm really excited about this product. In the past, I used to have people part it out and buy the different ingredients. But having it this way is so much easier because it's a drag buying six different supplements that you have to keep filled up in your gym bag year after year. So my insulin medic is something I'm very proud of. And I know that if you'll give it a shot, you'll be really happy with the results. And I don't think we've even scratched the surface on what is possible with the insulin medic at this point for people that are trying to, you know, manage potential, you know, blood sugar, glucose, elevated glucose levels and having issues. So thanks for listening. Try it out. This pairs really well with berberine as well as my post trost product and my cleaner way post-workout. And don't worry, you'll thank me later.